2002 Silverado. Okay, now this thing had a rattle in it. Really sounded like it was coming from the transmission. And um, what I've done here is I've tucked that grinder with the cutoff wheel and I've cut the converter out of the one side here. Now, if you listen, rattles. This side right here moves around. So if you have a truck that sounds like that, it could be your converter. What we're going to do, put this replacement converter in it and weld it back in. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I will assemble this all back onto the truck. Bolt these flanges up, everything just like it was going to be on there. And then I'll tack this into place. That way I know it's in the right location and everything will fit right and seal. So. Computer said it was working fine. But it rattles. Okay, this is the back where it goes on to the, like, the tailpipe part. I just put a clamp there for now. You can bolt it back together if you want. But you need that together like it's supposed to be. Now on these exhaust manifolds, I took and um Oh, I don't know if you can see that or not. I, but anyway, I put both of these on like they're supposed to be and bolted them down, both exhaust pipes. I got it. The whole exhaust system just like it's supposed to be. And then what I'm gonna do is now that I know that it's in place and it's tight, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna tack weld. And what I'll do, I'll tack weld a little bit over here and some over here and do the same over here and on the other side. And after I get it tack welded in two or three spots, enough that I know it won't move, I can take it back off the truck, go outside and weld it, put it back on. But you wanna make sure you always take them both these on and make sure they're all like they're supposed to be completely bolted together before you do any welding that way you know they'll line up and not leak okay what I've done I welded a couple welds there and a little more on the other side and then up on this other end here I did two and I got one you can't see around the corner there but anyway that's enough to hold this all together and make sure it'll fit back when I bolt it back on. So what I'm going to do now is just unbolt all this and um, take it outside here and weld it where I don't have to be crawling underneath the truck welding. So we got these two ends welded on there. So this should be able to bolt right back in the truck. This side has a groove in it. There is a little metal o-ring gasket like that goes in there. Do not forget to put it back in. We're going to let this thing cool off. After it cools off a little bit, then we're going to stick it up in there. Here's what that metal gasket that looks like goes in the one exhaust manifold. Only one side has it. So there's a quick look at it installed on the truck. Everything's tight. All the oxygen sensors are back in. So if you have a converter that goes bad on your truck, you can replace just one of them. Both, whichever. And like I say, this one wasn't causing no problems other than made that rattle noise.